Hi, I'm Cyrus Ryan of Northern School of Esoteric Wisdom. I've been involved in the search for esoteric knowledge for over 40 years, and I've united all these ideas and experiences in a book that I've just written called Living on the Inner Edge, an Esoteric Tale, which is like a memoir integrated with a variety of different spiritual teachings that unite many different um, aspects of spiritual teaching from Hinduism, Buddhism, Gurdjieff work, and the theosophical ideas. Um, I want to start off with a little story that's going to help to explain a little bit of this poster. This poster is a Mandela. It's a two-dimensional drawing of a fourth-dimensional living concept idea that exists on the higher planes. I call it spirit, soul, and personality, but in fact, in Sanskrit, it's called Atma Vidya. So this story happens about a young lady that I met in Toronto many years ago. She was a dancer, and she was an up-and-coming dancer on TV. She had her own dance studio. She was doing extremely well and consequently probably making a very good living. But all of a sudden she wasn't feeling very well. And she went and had herself examined and it was found out that she had throat cancer. And she was only given two months to live. I mean, when you're, I think she was about 24 at the time. That's a big blow, especially when your whole career is just rising up with TV and all sorts of special appearances. But since she was making money, she was not satisfied with the initial uh, diagnosis by the doctors. She actually sought out some of the best uh, cancer specialists in the world. She even went to South Africa. But everyone said the same thing. She only had about two months to live. One of the other things that she did other than her dance, she was interested in Tibetan Buddhism. And she was following a particular Lama that lived just outside of Darjeeling in India. So she sold everything, dropped everything, shaved her head bald. She was blonde and beautiful and became a nun. I met her when I was living in Darjeeling for a short time, studying and writing. And Darjeeling is uh, at about 8,000 feet above sea level in, uh, you'd say, sort of north west, northeastern India, north of Calcutta. Anyways, when I had seen her, it was about three, two years or three years after her diagnosis. Her cancer went into a remission. She was not taking any, any medication. She was just living at this particular monastery and with few of her friends who are also following. So why was there such a change in her that fooled the prognosis of the doctors? Well, in the esoteric psychology, which is one of the things we really specialize at the Northern School of Esoteric Wisdom. There's what they call a Kama Rupa. An individual is made up of a personality, soul, and spirit on a higher level. 